So I wanted to talk to you guys today about why the fat kid inside. If you've been following me for a while, you know that that is the name of my blog. That actually started because I was really big. I was a fat kid. Um, and then nowadays, I just feel like he's somewhere inside of me still trying to claw his way out. My story is very simple and something that I think a lot of people can actually relate to. By 2007, I'd hit my heaviest weight, which was about 115 kilos, about 240 pounds, which was pretty like, pretty massive. And I was just not in a happy place. You know, I was smoking two packs of cigarettes a day. I was drinking a lot of alcohol, but I don't think I felt that I was really kind of achieving my potential. In 2007, I all of a sudden just decided, all right, you know, let's just try to lose weight. Um, try to do something better for myself. I moved to Greece, worked there for six months. A bunch of Greek guys and Greek girls and Russian girls and Russian guys were there working with me. They would go to the gym every day and then I started joining them and I realized how uncomfortable and embarrassed I was simply because I just couldn't perform the things that they were performing. And so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna double down, do twice the work and start working out twice as hard. In six months, I really just gradually started losing weight. And what I realized is one, yeah, obviously I started looking better and that for me was a massive confidence boost and it was all very egoistical at first and aesthetic after I got over that fact I started realizing this deep down and not only in a physical sense but in the mental sense I really just started feeling better I was more energetic I was just more of a positive person to hang around with and when I started feeling that and started feeling more productive at work and just someone that had ideas and finally could act over them just because I had that confidence to follow through in projects I started feeling like a good person. Moved back in the Philippines around 2009, and that's where I really started the fat kid inside. And I just wanted to tell people that losing weight and being fit and feeling strong is actually not that difficult. I'm not a nutritional expert. I'm not a fitness expert. I'm just someone that's talking purely from personal experience. This really kind of relates to a lot of you out there because a lot of you have actually sent me pictures of your transformations by reading my blog and following through my tips. A lot of you actually lost weight. So we're doing a little montage for you guys in terms of all the people who have shown me their transformations. So I really appreciate every single person that has commented through the years, everyone that sent me their pictures and really tried to inspire other people by going through the same transformation that they've been through. In 2011, I was to a point where I wasn't really kind of happy with what I looked like. I was still very flabby. I'd lost a lot of weight, but I just didn't look shirtless like the type of person I wanted to look like. I was an active person already. I knew I just had to focus on eating proper food, proper nutrition, and I went through literally every single diet out there, you name it, Atkins, South Beach, juicing, cleansing, detoxing, uh, the cabbage soup diet. And then I realized, let's just start eating, you know, healthy. I took it a little too extreme and I started under eating a little bit, but I started seeing transformations in my body from May 2011, as you can see in the picture here. Then finally in August 2011, my body started really drying up and shaping up. But my problem was, if you look at October 2011, Muscle definition really wasn't much there. I was doing things like plyometrics, so lots of body weight movements. I was actually eating just like crackers, banana. I really took it to an extreme that wasn't that healthy, so it was really hard to sustain. As I started doing triathlon in 2012, you'll see that my lower abdomen just started getting bloated, simply because after talking to a nutritionist, they were telling me that I was just eating too little, so my body was really kind of like expending all this energy and just had to kind of hang on to fat for it to survive, for it to feel like it's surviving. But I realized that, you know, really to, to try to lose weight, I had to one, eat more and eat better, and two, I had to start doing some weights as well, not only just cardio. What I want to show you here is that if you look at this picture from February 2016, I was big, I was kind of like chubby even. But that was part of the process. My nutritionist told me, just be patient, let it happen. I was eating a lot of carbs at this point, and then suddenly he says, okay, now you're ready to completely drop the carbs. May 2016, I went from 78 kilos all the way dropped down to 75, and things just started to shape up really nicely and get really dry. So I'm not here to tell you how to lose weight. I'm not here to tell you how to get a six pack because honestly, I'm still not there. And right now, as I stand, I am not at my fittest. I'm currently at 77 kilos, probably hovering around 14% body fat. My goal eventually by the end of the year is to get down to about 74 kilos, which is just three kilos, which is very easy to lose. Most importantly, I wanna get down to about 9% or maybe 10% body fat. So really just that definition comes out. Will I have a six pack? I honestly have no clue. I see guys with six packs all the time. So I don't know how they do it. Some people are built differently. You know, it can come down to so many different factors. If you're in a point in your life where you feel 
like you are unfit and you are unhealthy, I'm here to help you just start. One of the biggest questions I always get is how do you begin? We put together this program with Century Tuna called Century Tuna No Excuses, where Juan Gutierrez has been kind enough to be our guinea pig. Just to show people that within 90 days, as long as you cut out all the bullshit and you cut out all the excuses, it is actually really possible to completely change your life and become a new and fitter person. So what we'll be doing over the 90 days is basically putting together a program online, both in articles, on the site that you can find below right here, or in different videos that I'll be putting up on my YouTube channel and on Raymond's YouTube channel, which I'll link out to later on. Obviously, video has always been really important to me, and I really wanna communicate that again. First thing you need to do is be truthful to yourself. Are you happy in the current state that you're in? And are you willing to make the sacrifices to get the changes that you actually want? You can lie to everyone, but at the end of the day, when you lie to yourself, that's when you know that you are lying and it doesn't really feel good. But at least you know what you're doing wrong and at least you know that you know, you've been hiding something for so long. Tell yourself your goals, tell yourself it's okay, tell yourself, all right, now we're gonna get to work and I'm gonna stop giving myself bullshit experiences and bullshit excuses that are preventing me to become the person I eventually wanna become. So we have a lot of content planned for you guys and it's gonna be really fun. So make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Why? Please do. I really need the subscribers. No, that's a little desperate, but I really would appreciate if you guys subscribe. And then go over to Mon's channel and subscribe there as well, because I'll be doing some videos on his channel as well and vice versa. And make sure you check out the Century Tuna No Excuses website, because all the information that you might need to really just start your journey with us will be on there. I have this little tool that I use, which is called the eight P's of losing weight and getting healthier. The first one is to plan. Plan, plan, plan. 